So the United Kingdom, not so united these days. Um, and uh, well, you know, we've got uh, we've got some stuff here. Uh, so there's a poll by YouGov. Did a poll in the United Kingdom. Most Britons want conversion therapy banned, including that aimed at transgender people. So for those of you that haven't seen, the uh, Prime Minister of the UK has endorsed torture. Conversion therapy has been classified as torture by multiple international uh, institutions. The Prime Minister for the United Kingdom is pro-torture of transgender people, uh, has been advocating over the last few weeks and months uh, in favor of torture for transgender people, uh, making transgender people go through torture uh, for, I'm assuming, his entertainment. Um, so, let's see. How do people in the UK advocate uh, or feel about their prime minister advocating for torture? Uh, so, let's read. This is from YouGov. The government's plan to exclude trans people from promised conversion therapy bans goes against the wishes of conservative voters. So, even conservatives in the UK are against torture. That's interesting. You'd think conservatives would be pro-torture, but in this instance, they are not. The government has been under fire recently for watering down a long-promised ban on conversion therapy, where individuals attempt to change someone's sexual orientation or gender identity by excluding transgender conversion therapy from proposed legislation. The move has angered campaigners and LGBT rights organizations and split the conservative party, with LGBT Tories pledging to not stop campaigning until Downing Street confirms trans people will be included in conversion therapy bans. Conversion therapy is torture. Uh, a lot of conversion therapy was founded upon science that uses electroshock therapy. Uh, basically, you know, shocking people into submission like they're animals. Other forms of conversion therapy have included lobotomies. That is to say, destroying someone's brain because they are deemed as broken because they are gay or transgender. Um, a lot of conversion therapy... Nowadays, as well, is just like locking you into a room with someone who's constantly invalidating you and saying you need to agree with their invalidation or else you can't leave, essentially. It's like, you know, mandatory psychological torture. Um, but let's read this poll here. So this is interesting. More than six in ten Britons, Britons, support banning conversion therapy, whether it is aimed at lesbian, gay, or bi and bisexual people or transgender people. So the question from YouGov is, do you think conversion therapy, where people seek to change someone's sexual orientation, gender identity, should or should not be banned? So there's basically a 3% delta. So only 3% of the UK thinks that torture for gay people shouldn't be allowed but for trans people should be allowed. That is, that is an extremely shocking minority position. That there's only a 3% delta. Uh, but anyway, so 65% of the general population is against conversion therapy uh, for gay people. Only 62% uh, against conversion therapy for trans people. Now, again, it needs to be understood that the fact that it's still 35 to 40% of the country is pro torture. Like that's shocking. Like I like like yes, the delta between the two, which is what's being discussed here is is interestingly low. But the fact that there's still like 35% of the UK that's like, yeah, let's torture the fuck out of the gays and the trannies. Fuck them. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm sure we'd get even more shocking results if we polled in the United States. But 35% of the people in UK are in favor of torture. Right? Intend to vote conservative. Once again, the delta with conservatives is slightly larger. Um, those who... That's interesting, though. 63 to 58 and 72 to 68. So the delta with those depending on their party affiliation... Um, is actually wider than the general delta, depending on the on the party affiliation. But what's interesting here is we're often told by TERFs, 
right? Trans exclusionary, quote unquote, radical feminists, uh, that women, and they mean cisgender women, uh, are specifically under assault by trans people. Uh, women have lost more rights because of trans inclusi uh, in inclusiveness uh, than ever before. And yet, we look at this poll, 60% of men want to ban torture for gay people. 58% of men want to ban torture for trans people. But we look at the numbers for women. 69% of women want to ban torture for gay people. Still, 30% of women want to torture gay people. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. 66% of women want to ban torture for trans people. So the, the women are more likely to be anti-torture. That being said, the delta is larger between gay and trans torture. There are more women that are anti-gay torture but pro-trans torture. Men... They're just pro-torture all around. They're like, yeah, we'll torture anyone we can. Um, but yeah, uh, it's pretty interesting. Among most of these groups, you really do see it's like a 60 to 70% range in almost all of these groups. Like the age breakdowns are pretty much all the same. You'd think younger people would be more likely to be against torture. But actually, it seems that the 50 to 64-year-olds are the least likely to support torture. Interesting. That's interesting to me. That younger, the younger people are more likely to support torture than older people. That's interesting. Typically, you'd see younger people be more progressive. In this instance, their progress is they want to make, to they want to make torture legal again, essentially. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think that this is an interesting poll uh, for what's going on in the UK uh, with trans rights. Most People that live there are against torture, but still 30 to 40% of the country is in favor of torture, depending on what demographic you use. That's fucking crazy, though. That's crazy. The fact that, like, nearly, like, 30 to 40%, that's, like, that's a lot of people that are just like, yeah, let's fucking torture these goddamn fucking, you know, whatever words they want to use. It's crazy. That's crazy to me. I can't believe it, but...